Hi. <laughs> Salam alaikum. It's been a while since I've stood in front of the camera and tried to film something. Inshallah, inshallah, I'm trying to get back to making videos. A lot has happened. A lot was going on in my life. That's why I paused from making content. But inshallah, I'm trying to get back to it. <laughs> so please bear with me as I try to figure out this new transition. Alhamdulillah, I am back. <laughs> and I'm just putting this video out there so I can break the ice. And I try to upload more regularly. I was thinking of what the first video back should be like. Um, and I was thinking I should just start with something a bit lighter. Inshallah. So we're just I'm just going to be vlogging a bit of my daily life. Because as, as I said, a lot has changed. I wanted to give you guys a little life update before I actually start the video. So the reason I took this time off YouTube and just like content creation in general was because... I'm a person who doesn't like to waste time, if that makes sense. And I do feel like time is very valuable to me. Time, our time, and how we spend it is one thing that we will be asked about in the Day of Judgment. So I don't take someone taking the time to watch a video of mine. I don't take that lightly. How I spend my time and how I portray it as well. That was very important to me for it to be transparent. And I, just, and I just got to a phase where I just couldn't be that anymore. So it was just on both sides. I felt a huge responsibility on my shoulders of the content I'm producing and putting out there as I felt like I am someone is taking their time to watch something of mine. So I wanted to, you know, to deserve that time and I want to put out something that's actually beneficial for the person seeing it um so it did it did feel kind of like a burden and as at the same time i wanted to be as raw and transparent um with the viewers as i can be so i just got to a point where i didn't know and also didn't have the time to create content that was beneficial for the viewer um and for it to also be a reminder for myself so for me to do that, for me to balance these two things, the responsibility I had, but also me wanting to be like raw and transparent, I needed to work on myself first and I needed to be able to do the things I want to talk about first before I preach them. So that's why I stopped for a while. And I also like, and also because of just like time reasons, uni reasons, like Islamic reasons as well. I just wanted to make sure that whatever I'm putting out is pleasing to Allah. So I just needed that time to think over everything. So inshallah, my content from now on will be improved. <laughs> it's probably going to take me some time to find my way back. But uh, please make dua for me. And uh, inshallah, I'll be able to create content that's beneficial for you guys. Um. So... The actual life update is that I was in Manchester for six months. That was last year already. And uh, I came back home. I needed to adjust. I needed to adjust to being back home. Because being independent and having my own space for six months was really nice. <laughs> and then you get back and then everything is back to normal. And it was just like a huge adjustment for me. There were so many exams I needed to sit and I then went to Oman for a month to do a clerkship. I didn't vlog there, but I do have some vlogs from my clerkship in Jordan that inshallah I'm gonna, you know, edit sometime and uh, upload. Uh, and right now, when it comes to uni, I am finishing up my last clinical year and then um, I'll be getting to the practical year in Germany where we have just like placements um and then inshallah i'll be done so this is where i'm at right now i am studying and i'm actually gonna go study <laughs> right now and then also with everything happening in gaza i don't think anybody was able to process what's happening and i don't think anybody was able to move on like genuinely life stopped in october and i feel like I've, we've just been living as zombies and trying to pretend that Life is okay when it's not, when it's fully not. We're so affected by what's happened. But but life kind of moves on, but you still feel like you're not doing enough. And sadly, I don't have an answer for you guys, but I'm trying to figure out how to you know, process and deal with everything. 
<laughs> so I, I chose a perfect time to start this video because there's a lot going on and inshallah I'll get to edit this video as well and upload it this is the fit I'm gonna go return some packages and then um, I'm gonna go to the library and I have like two and a half weeks left until my exam so my exam is exactly after Eid studying in Ramadan is so difficult just because your routine is so messed up and I try to plan and I try to make a good routine for myself but it's just not working <laughs> I've been so tired and exhausting you're tired after iftar you're tired after tarawih you're tired after fajr <laughs> you're tired during the day like now it's okay-ish so that's why I'm going out but it took me a while to adjust okay I'm on my way the sun hasn't been out for weeks so and I haven't been outside the house for weeks as well <laughs> It's a couple of hours later and I'm heading to the Islamic societies of the universities <laughs> iftar. Um, I'm a bit late, I'm running a bit late so I need to hurry. Okay. Yay, Yes, fast. Nein, oh mein Gott, das wird nicht so klein aus. Das ist bei Plastik oder neuen Sachen. Ich weiß nicht, wie wir Step of your game. Aber ist doch so, ganz ehrlich, die männlichen Wesen mm. sind Menschen. gepusht. Männliche Wesen sind, kann man pushen, weil man sagen kann, die Propheten waren Männer. Aber heutzutage, jeder weiß, dass die Frauen die Moscheen tragen. Ist einfach das ist so. so. Also oh. mit Maß aber ist so. Oh. Jeder, der nicht zustimmt, schweigt. Okay, I just got home and I want to do something. Basically, I've been reading about black seed oil and it's from the Sunnah. Not black seed oil, but black seed. It's narrated to be the remedy for every sickness except for death. So I want to start taking it. I'm really scared of like <laughs> things that smell weird. But this doesn't smell that bad, and I'm just gonna try it. I got this from Gavi Antep, it's been a while, but I don't think it's expired. Uh, okay, I'm scared. What if it doesn't taste good? That is so bad. Oh my god, that was so bad. It literally burned my throat. That went right now. I'm so tired. I'm working a five five hour shift. We do ACTs, we do argumentaries. It is helpful to do um, when you're a med student because you learn a lot and you especially like reading ECGs and stuff. I'm not the expert at that. So um, and it's also like medications doing taking a history and stuff that helps a lot. Definitely helped me in like in those couple of months I've been doing it. I just want to sleep. Oh my god. My brain is not working. <laughs> I finished my shift. The day is over. Alhamdulillah. I am going back home. The sun is out as well. But I, I just realized something, you know, in the morning when you're like, you're so out of it that you can't even think properly. I think I just wore my dad's jacket. <laughs> Because I was like, when I got dressed to go back home, I was like, this is not my jacket. And then I realized, I just think I just grabbed the wrong jacket. That's how tired I am right now. Um, but I still need to get some studying done today. Because yesterday wasn't as productive as I wanted it to be. So, I don't know. I'm so tired, but if I nap, I'm going to be so out of it. This is the struggle of Ramadan. And if you know, you know. It's just so hard. To, like the days are so short right now in the winter time. Um, but at night, 
I have to get some sleep or anything. I still can't figure out how to do everything but now because we have like official bank holidays inshallah I'll be able to figure things out better I am getting ready to go at the mosque I'm wearing my black abaya that I got custom made in uh, Oman and it's really practical because you have these like tic tacs whatever so it doesn't fall back um, and like your sleeves are still covered which is very practical just gonna put some moisturizer on and then head out is it outfit check Wait, you can't see how flowy my abaya is. This is what my baby is wearing. We're on the way to the mosque, and uh, I just wanted to film some thoughts I had before about the modest fashion industry. Because I'm a bit skeptical, to be fair. I was looking at like Aida abayas and like outfits. And tell me why I'm seeing abayas for like 200, 300 euros or like dollars. Like how does an ab does abaya cost that much? There's no way if you know, like if you ever produced abaya or like bought fabric, you know that there's no abaya that costs that much. Like if it's not silk, then I don't know why it costs that much. And there's no way like designing or whatever all that costs that much to, for you to produce abaya that's 300 euros that's way too much so i'd rather just like give the money to charity to be honest especially with everything happening and not waste this that money on clothes and also i've been uh, seeing the trend of like people calling let's call it a dress calling it abaya or like a modest abaya but it shows the figure so much that <laughs> I wouldn't even call it modest at this point. Like, we need to redefine modesty. Modesty is not just something that's maxi. It's not a maxi dress. Modesty is something that covers the body. You can't see the figure and it's not sheer. Like, it's not transparent. And we could exclude a lot of stuff that claim to be modest from the industry if we just follow those rules. And I'm literally like, I'm, I don't want to say any brand names or anything, but I'm seeing stuff that are so controversial. Like I would never call them modest in my life. And it's just sad how, because that influences people, and especially younger people who don't know how to differentiate. My is a butterfly abaya, it's not even so, and waist size. And then the description is literally, it snatches your waist. It's so pretty. As if that's my like goal when wearing the abaya. I literally saw the, the butterfly abaya one. It looks nice. Like I get like this. That's the, that's the thing. Like it's natural for us girls to want to look pretty or like you know, whatever. But that's not the goal of hijab. That's not the goal of goal of abaya. So it's just it's just confusing and it's like really bad. It's, it's a bad influence for like younger people like you. It's like you're missing the point. Like uh, yeah. I want to snatch figure. It's not what you're trying to do when you're wearing abaya. Look. Like, I feel bad, wallahi haram, like a lot of girls don't know how to differentiate and they don't have that guidance to know, oh, like, oh, that's wrong, you know? Um, and then when you put it out there as an influencer or as a brand and you're not careful, like, or like you even utilize the word modesty or like Islam to sell your product, but you're not, you know, living up to that, to modesty itself. I feel like it's so wrong. <laughs> Like, I would feel really bad as a brand to put something out like that. But yeah, those are my thoughts. May Allah guide everyone. It's very difficult, very difficult times. Everybody has something to say on the internet. Um, anyways, I'm hungry. We got cake. Was ist das? Ist das ein Bienenstich? Ja. 
We just had iftar, it was amazing. Salma, uh, what do you think of the iftar? It was good, but it was cold. We waited so long <laughs> to eat, like it was served 20 minutes before iftar, so by the time iftar came in, like it was pretty cold, but alhamdulillah for everything, alhamdulillah for any kind of meal. We are privileged in that way. And now we're heading to... I wanted to buy get some cookies, <laughs> um, but we're not gonna make it, so we're just gonna go pray tarawih and then go buy the cookies after. وتولنا فيما توليت وبارك اللهم لنا فيما أعطيت ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أعين واجعلنا للمتقين إماما اللهم اغفر للمسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات we finished our week. Now we're thinking of either getting knaf or cookies. Salma, you look like a ghost. I just got home and I wanted to share some Quran reflections I had during Tarawih. The Sheikh recited the verses with Adam السلام, like the story of creation and then how the uh, shaitan how he promised to, to deceive human beings until the end of time and then I was thinking of the wisdom like why did Allah reveal this in the Quran and why is this story highlighted so much in the Quran as well these are just my reflections they're not I'm not like a scholar or anything but yeah anyways I was thinking of like why did Allah reveal this story to us and what purpose does it have? Like, what wisdom is behind it? And um, from what we know, Prophet Adam, he was made to, like he was whispered to or made to eat from the tree. And then right after he sinned and right after he made that mistake, he firstly recognized that what he did is a sin and it was a mistake. And then he quickly turned to Allah and then asked for tawbah, asked for forgiveness and Allah granted him that tawbah because what I felt the lesson was from that story is that Allah could have stopped Adam السلام, he could have told him like you know the shaitan is going to whisper to you don't listen to his whispers or like he, Allah has the power to stop him but he didn't and he allowed him to do that mistake because he wanted to teach us he wanted to teach us that because he knows human nature and he knows that when we sin when we make when we make mistakes we can always turn back to allah and he's always going to be there to accept our tawbah and accept you know our prayers I, I don't know that was kind of like the lesson i took from that story i know it's like a story you always hear and sometimes this is what I found myself guilty of. It's like when you read a chapter that you've heard of so many times, um, you stop reflecting upon it or like you stop appreciating it as much as like some other verses that hit you every single time. Um, so I don't know. This is the kind of like a reminder to myself first and foremost to rethink and reflect upon the stories we already know because there's so much more wisdom behind them than what we you know think of so yeah those were today's reflections i am so tired and i'll be going to sleep anyways did you see my ramadan lights aren't they cute <laughs> it's 10 15 right now and um yeah we still have some time alhamdulillah like because i shot is um so early it's at 8 p.m right now so we finished at 9 30 anyways tomorrow i have a lot of studying to do and i'm very serious i'm gonna stay up after Frederick because I have not been productive and I'm gonna keep this inside the vlog because I want to be as raw and transparent as possible 
but this is the reality i'm just not my brain is not working in ramadan and have not been able to study more like like two or three hours not uni and we have beautiful weather Allahu Akbar, as you can see from the lighting and i'm basically here and i got some anatomy models this is my beautiful eye model and this is my <laughs> skull model with the nerves and the arteries and this is my <laughs> larynx model <laughs> So I got three models here and um, I'm basically I just want to revise every module I have. Um, I made like a plan for the next three days to revise inshallah and then um, do some like practice exams and then that's it. I'm going to write my exam and I'm going to be done inshallah. So yeah, we have a bit of weather. I'm going to open the window and I'm going to start studying. And the beautiful thing is here, I also have a board. I have my own pens, so inshallah will be a productive session. Just because the weather is good, I'm feeling good. Um, I hope I can get to editing this vlog before Ramadan ends. Hello guys, I never know what to vlog because that was the most boring vlog ever. Um, basically, the campus was really nice right now because um everybody was just sitting outside and stuff but now it's so late i'm going home and obviously nobody's here <laughs> so i'm just gonna go catch the bus inshallah and i'm gonna head home i was just studying the entire time <laughs> there was nothing for me to vlog um but yeah i'm going home now it's the next day and i'm heading to my mom's office she's gonna let me in and uh, i want to study there because i can't focus at home also <laughs> it's 1 p.m and i haven't started studying because i woke up with the worst th sore throat i couldn't sleep and um i'm probably <laughs> i got it probably from my sister because she's sick as well i am back home i'm so tired i'm literally my body's shaking i feel so tired and my throat is hurting so much like even speaking right now it hurts so i'm just like i'd rather be at home um, you know, try to take some breaks in between studying. I still have to get studying because there's a bunch of stuff I need to, a bunch of topics I need to go through as well. <laughs> I'm really, really tired. I don't know if you can tell by my face, but. Okay, so, some time has passed and um, I was lying down the entire time because I was so tired. I was getting headaches. So, now Alhamdulillah, it's a bit better. And I decided to make a cake. <laughs> My mom made this vanilla cake yesterday and um, I'm gonna make like a chai, probably add some pistachio milk cake. Um, I made this one time and it was so good and I already have all the ingredients so it should be f like fairly easy. I'm starting on the tea. I'm just eyeballing it. I'm adding... So I added cardigan and cloves. I'm gonna add some evaporated milk. I love how I'm teaching, as if I know. Oh my god, it smells so good! I'm basically just gonna pour the chai over. Bismillah. I'm gonna add some mascarpone because I feel like it makes it a bit thicker. I'm gonna add some whipping cream. I'm gonna take this one. I'm just gonna do like two spoons and see if it's gonna work. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, let me switch cameras. Okay, so let me try piping. Oh my god, I've seen so many videos on TikTok, but I feel like I'm not gonna be able to. Oh, <gasps> wait a minute, wait a damn minute. Oh my god, that looks good. <gasps> oh my god, am I a baker? Oh my god, okay. I think I need to refrigerate this, but it's gonna look so good! Thank you.
نستعين اللهم ربنا لك الحمد كله ولك الشكر كله ولك الثناء كله وعليك التوكل كله We're going home, Tarawih was emotional and uh, yeah, I'm tired. My plan is to wake up for um, Tahajjid, so at 3 a.m. and I only have like four hours if I get home to sleep. I just got home from Tarawih and I got a package um, that I ordered a couple of days ago and I wanted to show you guys. Basically these are black seed capsules remember two days ago when i was um taking the black seed oil and it was burning my throat <laughs> i was like yeah i can't keep doing this because i really wanted to be can like continuous i wanted to take them regularly i think that's the only way like they're gonna have an effect um and i just really couldn't handle the oil and it also felt like the oil i was taking was a bit expired because it's been a long time ago <laughs> since i bought it so i just went ahead and bought capsules first to get started and i also got the oil already like another bottle of it um and they have both of them they have a really high thymocyanin i think that's what it's what it's called about but that's basically what what's inside that makes them so effective and the black seed oil in general is supposed to be really good for your health not only is it narrated in a hadith and that's enough for us muslims to believe in it and follow the sunnah of the prophet but there are also a lot of like evidence-based papers and stuff that talk about the effectiveness of black seed oil and um, like how good it is it's really good for your cardiovascular system i've seen i've seen a couple of papers on it as well like that helps reduce like risk arteriosclerosis risks and it's supposed to be in general really good um and i'm hoping to kind of heal my gut health with it because i have a lot of gut issues gastritis and stuff so inshallah this is helpful um yeah and i'm gonna finish the vlog for this video for now and inshallah i'll be able to upload more vlogs and videos in the future uh, thank you guys for watching and i hope you have a wonderful ramadan assalamualaikum